all members of the Math National Honor Society. This is Alan Chen, the treasurer of MNHS. Have you ever wondered if computers in the future can solve all of our problems? The recent boom in the power of artificial intelligence in all fields seems to answer the question. What if I tell you that 84 years ago, 10 years before the first computer being invented, or 50 years before the first personal computer came out, that someone has mathematically proved that it is impossible for an ultimately powerful computer or machine to solve all problems that we have today? Despite the elegancy of his proof, I will show you an unexpected and interesting method that can be used to prove many other problems, including this one. But before I show the proof, I'd like to talk about another seemingly unrelated problem. Which set is larger, the set of all real numbers that are between zero and one, or the set of all natural numbers? Yeah, I know they are both infinite. But infinities do have size differences. In other words, if we put all real numbers that have the value between zero and one in the box R, and all natural numbers in the box n, which box contains more numbers? It is easy to see that box n cannot have more numbers than the box R, since for any number in the box n, we can always find a number in the box R that has a zero point before that. You might think that both boxes contain the same number of numbers, or you think that it is best to use the pigeonhole theorem in this problem. That if all numbers in one box can pair up to all numbers in another box, then they have the equal number of numbers. And if whichever box that has some numbers that are not paired up must have more numbers than another one. Now, we put all natural numbers on the left. And take out a distinctive number in the box R, and place besides each natural number. If we have paired all the real numbers on the right, or in other words, the box R is empty, then according to the pigeonhole theorem, one has as much number as another. But if we take the diagonal of these real numbers, copy them to the bottom, and add as or subtract one from each number. Will then form a new real number that is not found from the list. Why? Because even when we are so fortunate that there is one number from the list that has the same number in all other digits, there is always one digit located on the diagonal that's different from the new real number. Now we have proved this problem. It is time to come back to the problem of computing power. In 1936, Alan Turing, a legendary mathematician who invented the Turing machine, and therefore invented the computer. Turing machine is a math model that consists of a tape with infinite length and a control that can see, write, erase, and move the tape, and it can output either accept or reject. This simple model defines the ultimate power of the computer. Its infinite tape. Refers to the infinite memories of the computer. In the same year, Allen used the model to produce halting problem, which proves that there exists a problem that no computer can ever solve. However, in reality, halting problem has no other practical usage. Therefore, I want to solve the same problem from a wider and more practical angle. First. Let us put all the ultimately powerful machines that can be eventually invented on this vertical list, and put all the questions that we want the machine to solve on the horizontal list. Then these zeros and ones are the output, or the answers from the machine. One as yes and zero as no. In the mathematical model, these machines can be represented by a universal Turing machine, U. That symbolize powerful computers with no programs, and a description of the Turing machine that can be simulated on it symbolize the program that we designed. And all questions that human may have can be represented by these inputs, W. 
Each row with zeros and ones represented the answer to the problems that were designed this machine to solve. Do you see the similarities between what we have now compared to the previous problem about infinity? Pause the video if you can solve the rest yourself or predict my next step. Yes, we are talking about diagonal. Then copy them to the bottom. Then reverse each output. Then we found a complete new answer or output for an unknown problem that none of these machines can give, since this output cannot be found in the list above. Which means that none of these machines can produce this exact output. Now, we have proved simply through math models that computers. No matter how powerful they are or how smart a designer is, can never solve all questions that we have, even when combining all the powerful machines. And did you notice that no calculations and formula have been used in this entire time? Math is not only about numbers, and it can be useful in an unexpected way in your life.